Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're keeping safe and well for it. It's a very difficult time. Um, please excuse my makeup. Oh, I don't know what's happening with it. Um, it's a bit dark in this living room, so I don't think that's doing it justice or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so please excuse that. But no, I hope you guys are well. Um, I thought I'd pop on and just let you have a general chat because it's been so long. Um, life has actually been quite surprisingly busy considering that we're in lockdown. Um homeschooling nova she's in a uh, she's in primary one she's going into primary one in august so we've just been doing kind of day to day activities just getting her ready for the kind of transition from preschool to primary one so yeah we've just been doing that um i do apologize well just ate a biscuit so there we go there we go but yeah no we've just been doing that getting her ready for the transition going to primary one we are currently doing the house up we started doing the house up um last year yeah the beginning of last year and um, we stopped it due to like covid and just due to everything else so um we stopped it so this is us continuing it back again to get it up and running so i'll be putting out videos of transformations and kind of home diys as well i'm um, going to be tra trying to attempt big word there is trying um to do like home diys um different bits and bobs which we'll see how that goes and i've got a few halls that's going to be coming um i've got a studio hall and uh um oh my god i forget forgot um studio i might also have all those from oh yeah cherries so i've got studio and cherries coming out do you know i had to think and i was like oh i think lockdown's done something to my head but yeah so um studio and cherries i've got so there's got some home stuff coming so it's like to show you um but yeah, so that's all the stuff I've got. But I wanted to pop on and just have a general touch chat, let you know things that's been happening. Um, and yeah, but yeah, so over the past uh, few weeks, it's just been a case of homeschooling, as I said, doing the house up, um, having a bit of family time as well, because um, Xander's still currently working for this time, um, as he works at a school, so he's still currently working. So it's just kind of spending family time wherever we can. If the weather's nice, go and walks and stuff, get the kids out and about and um what else have we really been doing prep cooking stuff like that um and oh and then we had a little scare on was it last week yeah we had a little scare last week um Lee moana wasn't well on the uh, on the weekend yeah saturday um and we thought it was her teeth at first um and then she a few days after it she gained a little bit of a wee rash on her stomach and it kind of spreads quite fast um, so we called the doctor and went down to the doctors and they were treating her for either chicken pox or suspected COVID-19. Um, so it was a very, very, very scary time. Um, honestly, I've never been, like, it was one of the scariest I've ever been in my entire life. I was I was absolutely terrified. Um, and we went to the doctors and they told us, because she had a high temperature and that and different things and obviously they didn't know what it was, we had to go to the little COVID unit at our local doctors. Um, and they told us that it could have been chickenpox or COVID, that we're keeping an eye on the rash for 24 hours and see what, what happens with it. So we took we took a wee eye on it, um, we kept a wee eye on it, and the rash didn't change, it didn't scab, which chickenpox usually scab. So we done that, um, didn't change at all. If anything, they just spread and stuff, they were starting to annoy her a bit. So, um, and she gained a little bit of a cough through the night because we literally hardly slept and, like, almost a week we were so tired we were lucky if we were getting like two hours of sleep a night and um she was going to be cough so i just decided no i'm going to go and get a home test because we don't drive it's got and we don't drive so we couldn't go to any um like local like testing units or whatever you said testing centers and um, if you call them that um so we couldn't go to any of them so we had to get a home test which took a wee while to come and then it was a few days to got the results back so it was a very very scary time but on sunday night we got the results and her test results came back negative so that was a massive weight off her shoulders because it was just such a stress you know she gradually was getting better and um, the rash disappeared but obviously just that kind of in the back of your head thinking oh my goodness like if it's covid um but no so she's back to herself like you can't leave the remote in the living room without her wanting to get it so therefore you know she's back to her mischievous yeah. self <laughs> so and yeah and they came back negative so we think it's just been a case of a, been a bad virus that she's had um so yeah but so i was glad and she's back to her little self and she's sleeping now which is good um yeah it was very very scary time so we're self-isolating until the results came back and then 
yesterday we were meant to be getting a cooker. Um, our cooker packed in the other night. We were cooking dinner, and to be honest, the cooker has been slowly dying on us as such. Um, and we were planning to get one anyways. Um, this year, but we had kind of said we'll just hold it back now and get other stuff because all of our hubs worked, but there was only one main one that worked like really fast, whereas the other ones took for absolutely ever to um start up to heat up. So. But then, yeah, so then we're cooking dinner and that one that we usually used kind of was flicking the switches so that the other stuff was going off. Like it just wouldn't, every time you put that on, that hob, the cooker was switching off, so it just wasn't doing great. So we had to get a new cooker, so we ordered that. It was meant to come in yesterday. We set the alarm for the back six yesterday morning because the delivery time was from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So we set the alarm and come four o'clock, we got notified that it wasn't coming out for delivery. So we'd waited all day. So yeah, we'd wait absolutely all day. So that wasn't fun. Um so yeah, so we'd all day for it. And we're we'll still stuck with the old cooker right now. So it's coming today. We've got the time, it's between half nine and half one, I think it is. So it's coming today, which is good, at least that. At least we can get pancake Tuesday. So we can have that. So we're excited for that. But um yeah, so we've got a new cooker. So it just came. So we're gonna get one eventually, but it's just it ended up happening a lot sooner, which is it is it is what it isn't that you need to eat. So yeah, so that's coming today. And other than that, Xander's working and me and the girls are literally just having a chill day. We fancy getting dressed today because we feel as if we've been living life in our jammies. So we thought, why don't we get ready? I put on a bit of makeup on and the girls put on their comfy clothes as such and I just put on my comfy clothes and thought, well, we've made a bit of an effort. So, but yeah, that's all that's really been happening in my life. Nothing too exciting. Absolutely nothing too exciting. I've got a lot planned for the next few weeks. It's just, as I say, deliveries are a bit hectic at the moment with everything that's happening so goodness knows when I'll have that to show you but I'm really hoping that it's not too long um because I don't like to use it as well so I'm hoping it's not too long and then I can show you that I'm trying to come up with other ideas just to do but right now in lockdown it's really really hard just to try and think of stuff to do um and I've been wanting to do a kind of weekly vlog but as I said like I keep forgetting I honestly keep forgetting and I really want to make it as honest as it is like every day that's like, just filming what as I'm doing it as such um and I keep forgetting I keep forgetting I'm kind of saying I'll do that day and then I just keep forgetting so yeah I'd like to do that um but yeah but no I hope you are all well and you're all keeping safe um and yeah I'll be back in another week hopefully I'm really hoping a week yeah another week I might come back this week if I can think of something but as I said right now time's hectic here's no <laughs> If I can come back with something, I will, but I don't want to come back with something that's just going to bore you, so I'm trying to think of, like, cool, fun things. <laughs> I've actually got, I've still got the stuff for the bean challenge. Uh -huh, right. I've still got the stuff for the bean challenge. I don't know if that'll be out of date, the beans, but I could try that again, even though it doesn't scream at me, let's do this again. I could try that again for your entertainment purposes, obviously. Um, and I'll come back with the hauls. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and feel free to comment any ideas or anything, really. I'm always up for a comment. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Bye! Bye.